this video, we will see about this hidden component. This component is used to hide any items based on breakpoints. So, this is my project. First, we need to import it. It will import from this material UI code, which is defined here. And we can use it in our app. Let me use one paper component here. Style curl to width suppose it is 200 and height is 200 and color is red. So if if I go here, then it's showing this paper component. I need to add this as background color. Yeah. So in this hidden component, we can define if we want to hide this paper for which breakpoints. So if you go here, you can see that we can give it like up or down, like if I give it as MD down, then it will hide for all screen size from MD and the list in MD. So if I just since the width, then you can see that it hides after we reach this MD breakpoint. Similarly, if I give it as SM down, then it will hide from small to less than small. We can also give it as SM up. Let me give it as SM down. Then let me create one more component here. For this, I'm giving it as blue color. And it is suppose it's SM up. Then if I reach SM, then here you can see that it is visible. So if I go to this documentation here, then using any breakpoint using a property at or above the breakpoint. So if I give it Excel up, it will be hidden at Excel or above Excel. So for the down property at or below the breakpoint, access down means it will be hidden for access and down the access. So we have given it as SM down and SM up. So the first one is hidden from SM and below SM for SM up. And this one is hidden for SM and above SM. Apart from that, we can also grip this only property. So if I see this source code here, then you can see that property is only LG or only SM, or we can give like more than two breakpoints here. So let me copy this one. It will, uh, let me remove the first, second one. Then instead of SM down, if I give it here, then it will hide it for small and large screens. So for it, it is large, so it is hidden. Then it is empty, so it's showing. Then small, it's hidden. And extra small, it's showing. Also, we can uh, integrate this component with Greek component as well. So if I if you see the source code, then you can see that this is the grid component and this hidden is used with the grid. So that's the quick introduction of this hidden component. So in our next video, I'll move to this input components and we'll check like the file capture and how you can use in material way. Thanks.